Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today we're going to make this fun slimline card and we're going to do some ink blending for our background and also we're going to be using some new products from Art Impressions. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off we're using this brand new set from Art Impressions and it does include the dies. We're going to be using the three pelicans and also that little sentiment and this set is called Gull Friends. Now for paper, I'm using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock, and I'm using the VersaFine Onyx Black ink to do my stamping. And I've placed the paper in my Mini Misty, and I'll go ahead and stamp this a couple of times. So let's go ahead and do our coloring. We're using light gray, light pink, light violet, cobalt blue, may green, carmine red, orange, and yellow to do our coloring. So I'm going to stick to just those colors, which is really kind of a rainbow theme. So I'm gonna do all my coloring in those colors. I'm using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens, and these are a water-based marker. And I also want to use my Zig Blender pen to do all my blending. So I'm just gonna start with my color and then use that blender just to pull that color up towards the top. And you can add more shadows here. I'm gonna use that same color on these little candles. And again, I'm starting at the bottom and then pulling that color up towards the top. So I'll go ahead and do all of these little pieces that I'm gonna do in the red. And for shading, I just use the same color as what I, what I colored with. So for the red, I just, to make it darker, you can add a little bit more of that same red color. So I didn't introduce a lot of colors here. I wanted to stick to that basic rainbow theme. Now to clean off your blender, you just scribble it onto some scrap paper until it goes clear and then you'll know that it's good to go to your next color. And you can also remove color like you see I'm doing there. If you get a little too much, just grab it off your image and then scribble it onto some scrap paper. That's a good way to fix any mistakes that you make as well. If you have a mistake, just take your blender and pick up that color and scribble it onto your scrap paper and just keep doing that until you remove as much color as you need to. So I'm just adding a few shadows here and there. I'm not being real fussy here. I just want to quickly color these in. And I will list all the supplies and all the colors that I use today down below and also on my blog. And I had previously done a card using those little seagulls that are all standing in a row. And I did a a C background with layering stamps. So you might want to check that out when you get a chance. I have the name of it above here, but I also have it linked down below and linked on my blog as well. So I'll finish up this little party hat here, and then we'll switch to the light brown color to do the beaks on all of these little pelicans. And I'm going to keep this bottom area the darkest and then just pull that up towards the top here. And I'll do that same thing for all three of these little beaks. And there I'm just adding a little shadow underneath there. And then for the cheeks, I'm using that light pink again. 
And then I'm going back to that light gray and just adding a little bit of a shadow here. I don't want to make them gray. I just want to give them a little shadow. I'm just going to kind of add those shadows where I think they would be and then just pull that in, keeping him mostly white. And I'll, again, I'll do that same thing for all three of these. And these are really fun to color in. You can just do all the bright colors and uh, even on the packaging she did, uh, Bonnie did mostly blues and I thought that was really, really beautiful. So you can follow the packaging as well. That's one of the things I do love about the Art Impression sets is that the packaging kind of gives you an idea of how to color, where to do your shading. So you can always follow that if you're not sure. Now here I'm just doing the feet and I'm adding a few little shadows here right up underneath and then just kind of pulling that down towards the bottom of their feet. So I have all three of these colored in and I'm going to go ahead and attach the coordinating dies. I'll place a little bit of purple tape on those and then I can run those through my Sizzix Sidekick machine. And you can see all the detail that these cut out. So this is really nice. Now with the Lawn Fawn Small Slim Line with Lift the Flaps die, I'm going to go ahead and die cut one panel out of the Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. And that will fit in your Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. Just turn it on a little bit of an angle and it'll run through just fine. And that'll leave that little stitch border around the edge. So now I have my We Are Memory Keepers silicone mat, and I know I've mentioned this before, but I like it because it kind of holds my ink pad right in place. And I'm using the Distress Oxide in the Chip Sapphire. And it also holds my paper in place a little bit too. You can see that it's not sliding around here. And I really just, it just kind of lays right on that mat and it doesn't move around too, too much. So it makes um, doing your ink blending really easy. Now the next color I'll use is the faded jeans. And I'm not being real fussy at this point. I'm just going to blend these two together as best I can. Then I'll come back in with that first color and blend those two together. Now the next color I'm going to is the salty ocean. And I like to lay down a good, a good bit of color just to get started. And then I come in with the prior color and just do some blending. And then you can always go back to the other color again and just keep on blending this out until you get a nice smooth transition. So now I'll go to the peacock feathers. And I just loved how this came out, the way the colors blend blended together. And after it sits for a little while, it blends even better. It just, when you first look at it, you see a little bit of a transition, but after it completely blends, you'll see at the end how beautiful it is. Now the Salvage Patina is one of the brand new colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that right up at the top. So it'll be nice and light up towards the top here. And again, going back to those peacock feathers and just keep on reversing order of my blenders and blending that out. So you can see that up close. Now I'm going to add some bubbles. I'm using the Distress Sprayer and this is just water that I'm spraying on here and I do want some larger bubbles here. So I'm kind of just gently uh, pressing the, the nozzle on that so that I get some nice big splashes. Now if you want them to be finer you can squeeze it harder and get more of a mist but I'm just letting these little splashes land here. And I, again, I do want some larger ones. So I'm gonna blot that up with a paper towel. And then going back to the salty ocean, I'm gonna add some more splashes here. So I want all different layers of bubbles and splashes in my water. So I'm using the salty ocean and I'm gonna spatter this all over. I'm just using a tiny paintbrush now because I do want these little splashes to be a little bit smaller than the, uh, the bubbles that we have. Now, if you want them to be bigger, you could use a larger paintbrush here. Now with the Sea Salt Reactive Ink from Hero Arts, I'm gonna go ahead and this is just a pure white uh, ink that does react with water. It's a 
pigment and dye ink combination. So I'm going to spatter this panel. So that white ink will pick up a little bit of the color from underneath, so it won't be a bright white. I'm going to go ahead and heat set that. And then with my sticky note cardstock from Lawn Fawn, this is a 100 pound weight. This is a beautiful yellow color. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. So that's from that same set. And it says, who can wish you the happiest of birthdays? A pelican. I love that. I think that's so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. And I want to leave enough room on each side because I'm going to be die cutting this from a circle. So I just want to put it in the center of this cardstock. Again, I'm going back to the VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And I'm going to stamp that a couple of times. And then I can go ahead and die cut this. So I'm using the circle double stitch dies from Art Impressions. And I'm just selecting that one that fits just right around that sentiment. I'm taping that down with a little bit of purple tape. And again, I'll run that through the Sizzix Sidekick machine. So now I'm placing a little bit of the Scotch foam mounting tape on the back of this. We'll pop this up on our card. And then everything else I'm going to glue flat. So now I've got an eight and a half by seven inch card and I'm going to score that at three and a half inches and that's on the seven inch side. So this will be a three and a half by eight and a half inch card. And I'm just pressing that out with my bone folder and this is a standard slimline card. Now that panel I'll center right on the front of the card and I'm using my Scotch ATG 700 to do this. And this is a permanent tape. Now I can add my little pelicans and I'm just going to again glue these flat to the card but you could certainly pop these up and you can see that beautiful background that we have with that all that ink blending and all those bubbles and we're going to add a little more texture to those bubbles here in a minute. So now I've got my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. And I'll just place a couple of acrylic blocks on there just to uh, let that dry. So now that those are all set, I'm taking my Wink of Stella this is just a glitter pen. It's clear glitter and I'm just going to add a little sparkle here and there. I'll do all of the balloons and then the little pom-poms on the party hats. And again this will just give a little bit more interest here. And you do want to clean it off between colors because this is a water-based glitter pen and we used water-based markers to color everything in so you don't want to transfer any of your colors. So once that was done, I'm using my Uniball Signo white gel pen and I'm going to add some highlights here. And then what I'm also going to do is add those that white gel pen to some of these bubbles. So I'm just going right around some of the little splatters that we created. And that's just going to give us, again, another layer of bubbles here. So we've got the ones that we spattered with water. We've got the ones we spattered with the blue. And then the ones we spattered with the white. And now we're just circling some of those bubbles just to bring those out a little bit more. So you have a lot of depth to this water background. Now I've got these little embellishments. And I'm using my Marvy Jewel Picker to pick these up. And I've placed a few on my card here, and I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. 
And these little embellishments are from Buttons Galore and more. And these are the Sparklets embellishments. And this set is called Sea Level. So let's take a closer look at the finished card and you can see all that beautiful texture we have in that ocean background. And we've got these cute little embellishments and I just think these little pelicans are just so cute. So if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. And also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.